Hello and welcome to Apex CC TV's tutorial on basic configuration of the Vivitech ST7501 NVR system. The first step will be to launch the live client. Depending on whether you are on the NVR itself or a remote system determines whether you need to check the box for login local station. If you're remotely logging in, enter the IP address. The user ID will be STADMIN with capital S, T, and A capitalized. Everything else lowercase. And the password will be STADMIN all lowercase. All server configuration is done under station settings under the configuration menu. and there are some steps you want to adjust first before adding any cameras the first thing is under general this allows you to give the system a specific name network settings you should not need to adjust these unless you already have an existing application using these ports on your network recording storage settings this is where you specify the recording hard drives that you will be using on this it is strongly recommended that you do not use the operating system hard drive for this so in this case we will be choosing a secondary hard drive This checkbox determines how many days you will keep your data. The next section that we're going to adjust is the default schedule. If you're going to be scheduling for motion recordings, you will need to click this drop down and change it from continuous to event, and then choose the type of events motion. PIR, some of their cameras have passive infrared, and also tampering are the three most common. Scheduled backup allows you to do a remote backup to less expensive storage if you're on a high-end system. And allows you to choose which cameras you do backup. You could specify that you only want to backup exterior cameras, for example. Server settings allow you to enter dynamic DNS, network storage, and mail settings. Thank you for taking this look at Apex CCTV's tutorial for the Vivitech ST7501 initial server configuration.